Hey, thanks for finding our YouTube channel. We'll jump right in. This mare was given a shot of banamine in the muscle, which for this reason is something we never recommend. We don't even like horse owners injecting it, period. Always squirt it in the mouth. This horse got a clostridial myositis afterwards. So we got to open this abscess up. The first one I did over air pocket with the odor so terrible I stepped back for a minute as the gas was relieved. Now I'm gonna make some incisions into the abscess itself and relieve some of that pressure. The site was surgically prepped and blocked with lidocaine so this mare doesn't feel a thing except relief. So banamine is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory used very commonly in horses. It's very commonly prescribed, but you can get this, what we call clostridial myositis if it's injected into the muscle because a healthy muscle can have clostridial spores in it and the damage that the banamine causes to the muscle can cause those spores to grow and you get an anaerobic infection. Anaerobic means the bacteria thrives without air. So part of our treatment here is making these incisions to get air to it so that'll help get rid of the bacteria. So I'm gonna make these incisions as far down as I can so the infection drains. And you can see here in a second, the damage done to this muscle from that, that infection. It presented as a huge swelling that was kind of crunchy. You could hear the gas in there. And with the history of the banamine shot, there was no doubt what this was. So there's the muscle damage. In these horses, about 31 to 70% survive. It can take months for our treatment and that muscle to heal, as you can imagine. If, if it's not treated, the bacterial infection can get in the bloodstream and, and result in death pretty quick in these guys. So if, if you do notice this, calling your vet right away is the best thing to do. So here we're flushing it with antibiotics, try to get some of that out of there and kill some of that bacteria. Then we're going to place a drain between the skin and the muscle. The drain is just a latex tubing. We'll suture it in place, and its job is just to keep the, the track open where that infection can drain out of there and we'll suture it in place so she doesn't doesn't rub the drain out and the owner's gonna it's it's the middle of june here the flies are terrible so we're gonna have to battle those and battle these getting dirty keep it clean and as as the muscle itself's healed it's gonna have to heal by second intention so if you have to give banamine squirt it in your horse's mouth always call your vet first and we don't recommend, it's, it's great IV, but we don't recommend horse owners doing that because if you can get this same thing and you can get it right on top of the jugular and, and those horses' survival rates even lower. We'll also start this mare on penicillin and metronidazole. Those two antibiotics are known to kill the clostridium. So we'll suture this top drain in place. She's got to feel better already. The amount of pressure that that thing had, just barely touching it, she reacted to it before we blocked it with lidocaine. Banamine also comes as an oral paste, and it comes as the injectable form, but we have just as good a luck squirting the injectable into their mouth. Same dose, one cc per 100 pounds. They absorb most of it right through their mucosa. It works just as good and almost just as fast as an IV injection. So stay tuned for some updates on this mare, and we'll keep you posted, and she's got to feel better already. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.